Hello guys! Today in front of me we're taking a look at a stern glass timepiece. Uh, I've reviewed a few of their pieces in the past and I've always been pretty impressed by their overall quality and uh, their overall Bauhaus design. I think it's pretty neat. Today we're taking a look at the stern glass 42mm Hamburg edition. It's an automatic timepiece, obviously very Bauhaus with that nice uh, kind of vintage-y kind of Bauhaus style as you can see here. It's obviously an automatic timepiece. And uh, let's see, the box comes in. Pretty simple cardboard box. Here's the box itself. It's a pretty simple cardboard box, like I explained. Uh, inside, it's on a pillow, just with a couple warranty papers, and yeah, pretty simple. I think it's enough, you know? Now, this timepiece itself comes in at about $469 from Sternglass. They might have some promotions or stuff uh, for the holidays. You might want to check that out. I will drop a link down to their website in the description below. They are based in Germany. Uh, they're a German brand. They basically produce mostly Bauhaus-style watches from Germany. Um, yeah, the shipping was pretty fast, about three days it arrived, and uh, no issues, never had an issue with their shipping. Anyway, uh, the watch itself has an automatic timepiece, you can see here. Getting a little closer into this dial, we have a satin silver convex curved dial, which is really nice. Um, it also does feature a glass domed sapphire crystal anti-reflective coating. So that domed crystal with that kind of domed dial kind of looks pretty cool, or curved dial, I should say. Uh, kind of looks very, you know, Bauhaus vintage, I'd say in my words. Very nice stern glass printing with automatic uh, above the six. And we have a nice deep date cutout, uh, which looks pretty neat as well. Uh, I mean, the anti-reflective coating definitely works. As you can see, the light is shining right on it. And you can still see that dial very clear and crisp. The hands themselves, you can see, are black with actually some loom. Uh, I'm not sure how good the loom is. Uh, we have a little loom pip at the 12 three, six, and nine, if you can really see that. I'm pretty close in right now. Um, but everything looks pretty spot on. Printing is very crisp. As you can see, that second hand reaches all the way up to the fine minute minute markings, which I do appreciate. Anyway, the watch is crafted of solid 316L stainless steel, which is the industry standard, as you would expect here. Um, in terms of basic uh, dimensions, obviously it's called the 42 Hamburg. It's 42 millimeters across. Uh, which is very nice. Now, 42 doesn't always mean 42. Considering lug to lug, we're looking at 45 millimeters. So it kind of wears like a 41, I'd say. It's mainly dial as a Bauhaus kind of watch is. As you can see, very short, stumpy 20 millimeter lugs there. Um, basically all dial on this one. Um, in terms of the actual case thickness, we're looking at 12 millimeters, which is pretty nice. Kind of like that pie pan case shape, very circular, uh, kind of teardrop lugs. Uh, which kind of stay out of the way of things, which is very nice. For the most part, the watch is pretty much all polished, uh, high polished all around. And it does feature five uh, ATMs of water resistance. Let's take a look at the finishing here. You can see a nice little domed crystal. Uh, very nice finishing. As you can see, we get a signed crown as well. Um, pretty much all polished. Tops of the lugs, sides of the cases there, as you can see. Everything is very highly polished there. Um, including the actual case back, which features a nice, very nice drawing, as you can see here, um, which is actually pretty cool, held down by screws, just some basic specifications, very detailed, I must say. As you can see, we do get quick release on this genuine leather band, this stern glass band here, um, which is genuine leather, and as you can see, I believe that says made in Germany. Anyway, um, yeah, pretty simple watch. Now, what's actually inside of this watch? We're getting the Miyota 8215. Most of you guys are pretty familiar with this one. We get hand winding via the crown, which is actually really smooth. No issues whatsoever. We get one position. We get a nice quick set date. No issues. Final position. We can set the time here. So no hacking on this movement. Movement beats at uh, 3 hertz, which is 21,600 vibrations per hour. On these, I got around a 40-hour power reserve in my uh, experiences with them. Um, but yeah, they're pretty accurate. They're very reliable, robust. They're really not, nothing's really going to go wrong with your movement, which is always good to know. Um, but yeah, other than that, the band itself is actually really nice. Kind of this mocha color, dark mocha, I'd say I'd call it. Uh, very smooth. Just really smooth. Definitely broken in already. Two safety keepers here. So you can see we get a custom polished stern glass buckle to match that polished case there. Uh, which is very nice as well. All around, a very well put together watch, a simple Bauhaus watch, one to dress up with, I'd say, and wear casually. I can definitely see you wearing this watch casually um, with some nice khaki shorts or corduroy pants or something of that nature with a nice dress shirt. I think it would look pretty slick. Um, but yeah, 
always the quality and the finishing is always very good. The dial worker is very good. I never have to worry about that with stern glass. I know their quality is very good. And uh, yeah, I've uh, never seen any quality control issues from my experiences with this brand. You do get quick release on the band as well if you want to swap out bands. Um, but I think this one kind of belongs on this kind of style of band. Kind of fits the whole picture here. Um, but yeah, let me throw it on my wrist, get you a loom shot, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this 42 millimeter Hamburg. Now this is a dress watch, but there is some loom, as you can see, a little bit of loom on that 1236 and the hands there, and a loom pip at the 9 as well, which is actually being covered by the hand. Uh, it makes it legible at night. Good to see they actually applied some loom to it. It's a dress watch, it's not a dive watch, guys. So, um, I wasn't expecting some crazy loom here. On my 6.5 inch wrist, 6.6 .6 inch wrist, of course, lug to lug at 45, this thing fits great. The band straight out of the box is broken in, very comfortable, supple, soft, smooth on the skin. I really like their bands, they really put out some nice bands. As you can see, a very legible watch, easy to tell the time. Uh, those hands kind of stick out above that dial, as you can see there, they really show themselves. So it's very easy to read the time, nice stern glass sign buckle there. Very nice, as you can see there, wears pretty flat on the wrist. Very circular dial, legible, clean, and crisp. So furthermore, guys, I think for the money, I mean, there's really no other brands out there that really stay true to producing like true Germany style, German style Bauhaus watches. I think right now in the industry of, a, I'd say affordable under 500 US dollar watches, they are doing it the best. Um, they have a lot of different models as well. Um, they have watches with, you know, automatic Swiss calibers. They have watches with 9015s from Yoda. They have 8215s. And yeah, uh, their watches are always very good quality. Um, I have really nothing bad to say about the brand. Obviously, if you're, you know, into sports and stuff, and you only like dive, you know, sports action watches and stuff, obviously this might not be for you. But if you're a casual guy that goes to the office every day or someone who just likes walking in the park and having a nice time piece on the wrist, this one could be for you. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. I did not find any quality control issues with the watch, and I think it's a nice looking watch. Like I said, you really have to like the Bauhaus style. It's a really nice style. It's clean, crisp, simple, very symmetrical, very fine, crisp printing. Um, yeah, it's just, if you like perfection on a dial, this is something to look for. Yeah, definitely take them. Uh, definitely take a look at these guys. Um, I will drop a link to their website in the description below, so you can check them out after the video. This is the Hamburg 42 from Sternglass, based in Germany. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. Definitely throw the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I uh, will reply to your comments down there in the comment section below. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much once again for tuning in. Bye.